welcome to a Makeup Monday video. So today's video is my three of a kind project that I do bi-monthly on my channel. So I have three categories that I have quite a lot of products in and I want to rotate through my collection. That's basically all this is. This is not a panning project, this is just a rotation through my collection. Um, I will leave the playlist in the description box down below if you want to check out any of my other videos. So I have here all of the items and I'm pleased to say that I have used every single one apart from two. So let's go go into it. So let's start off with the uh, nail polishes first. So let's start off with the one that I haven't got around to using and that is this one. This is the Essence Outer Space Stories in Outer Space is the place. Now this was my creamy one and I just didn't get around to wearing this because it's just a white. Um, it does have a slightly pink tone and it does have a slightly green flash to it but it's just a white and I I don't know I just I'm not drawn to having white nails very often or pinky very light baby pink nails so I don't know I don't know what to do with this one um I have it because it's part of the collection um this is the number one out of the eight that I think they brought out uh they brought out six originally and then they brought out an extra two um so I don't know. I don't know what to do with this one. Um, I am going to keep it, I think, because it does go with the collection and there might be a time when I do want to wear this colour. Um, but I just wasn't drawn to it over the last two months. So that is the first item. The next item, I am so glad that I pulled this into this project. And that is the Rimmel Salon Pro uh, Kate nail polish in satin and it is this beautiful blackish gold sort of colour and I am so glad as I say bringing this into this uh, project because I was originally going to declutter this one and the only reason being that this bottle doesn't match all my other Rimmel bottles this is the only one in this shape all the others are those uh, Rita Ora ones with the flower petals on the cap and so because this was the odd one out I was going to declutter it uh no this is staying this color is stunning on my nails so beautiful I absolutely loved it um I do prefer darker colors on my nails that is a given but this color and the application of this was so beautiful I really really love this one so yeah this is why I do this project to find these hidden gems that I have in my collection that before now I was going to declutter. I'm not anymore. This is a keeper and I could put this in a project pan and I don't think I would get bored with it. I love this shade. It's so beautiful. So that's a keeper. The next one um, I had was my PS nail polish. These are from Primark and this doesn't have a name. It's just this beautiful teal blue color this was gorgeous this really really does give me mermaid nail vibes and I really really did like this now without a top coat this dries down a little bit kind of uh, like a satin finish rather than a glossy finish so I actually experimented and this came as part of a set <coughs> so I experimented with this one and this is from the same collection but it's a clear base with these holographic silvery uh, tiny micro glitters and these holographic blue stars, sequin stars. <sighs> I do not have time to fish about for these goddamn stars. When you go to um, apply this onto your nails, you pull out the brush and there's nothing on it like there is nothing on there no stars little bit of glitter nothing you literally have to use like a toothpick or something or really try and fish around to get those stars 
I'm not sure I've got the time of day to do that so I am thinking of decluttering this one um, but I'm going to keep this one that was originally in my um, my chosen three but as I say this is why I do this project because it helps me to play around and now I've discovered one that I am going to declutter. So moving on to the lipsticks, again we'll talk about the one that I didn't use the first um, first, and that was my sample. Uh, this is an Urban Decay Vice um, lipstick sample in the shade Black Mail, so it's this dark sort of colour. It's kind of like a dark brown I want to say with a tiny red tone. Um, the reason why I didn't do this is because um, I'm in, I'm, I'm, I don't really want to be starting any of my samples at this moment in my life. There is something going on in my personal life that I'm having to sort out and deal with and if it happens the way I want it to happen then I don't want to be having an open sample during this period of my life. Cryptic, I know. Basically, I'm planning to move. <laughs> um, and so, because of that, I don't want to be opening any of my samples. Yes, I've had the last two months in order to use this. However, it got to sort of the last sort of two weeks and I still hadn't used it and I thought I don't want to be opening it now because if I open it this is more than one use. I have had one of these open for quite a few months trying to use it up. Um, they're not they're not one use they are multiple uses. Um, if all my lipsticks were samples like this I'd be more than happy to have like 20-30 of them um, because I can get more than enough um, uses out of them for me to be happy about it. Um, so yeah, I didn't use my sample. Um, my lippy stick uh, from Colourpop in Little Tings. I love this colour. This colour is my shade. It's stunning. It's beautiful. Um, absolutely love it. Uh, yeah, I used it. Um, this is one of my most well used. As you can see, there's it's all the way down in there um, there's not a lot of this left um, so yeah this could go in a project pan later on um, probably not this year but maybe next year this could definitely go in a project pan and I could definitely see myself using that up and then the other one I used was my Milani uh, liquid lipstick in the shade Loved this is really pretty. I do find that I have to be careful as to what um, eye look I'm wearing when I do wear this because this has quite a pinkish tone to it. Same as Little Tings, but um, yeah, it's very liquidy. Um, so I do have to be careful as to what sort of eye look I'm using when I'm wearing that. Um, but I do really like this. It's a very comfortable liquid lipstick to wear um, and Milan is not very easy for me to get hold of so I'm quite happy to keep this in my collection. So moving on to the eyeshadow palettes. Um, my Sleek Vintage Romance palette. I did a look using this. I believe that instead of going... Yeah, I used this shade in my crease um, because that's really the only matte in the palette and then I used this shade and this shade here. This purple is stunning. It's so beautiful and so gorgeous. I absolutely loved it and then I used a bit of this black here um, just to darken up the crease. I really liked the look that I created with this. Um, I am so happy with this palette. I love it. So that is the shade. 
and there it is it's just it was just stunning so beautiful i really really loved playing uh with that um definitely want to play around with this more in the future i'm so happy to have purchased this palette recently and originally i was put off buying it because of the packaging i don't like this bit on the front but as i'm looking at it more and more nowadays it's okay it's it's not my favorite but it's okay i can live with it because the colors inside are so beautiful and so up my street Uh, and the last palette that I played with was my Revolution Light and Shade palette and with this one I played with this set here. Um, we have, <coughs> in this palette we had the warm, the cold, well the cool tones and then the kind of neutral tones <coughs> and I played with this side. I really enjoyed the look that I created with this um, however this is all mattes and it was very weird for me not to put a shimmer on my eyes but I guess if I am playing with this one then I can use sort of one of my single Colourpop Super Shock eyeshadows for that bit of shimmer on the lid or I could pull from my cream eyeshadows um, or my liquid eyeshadows um, that have a bit of shimmer in just to complement this so I don't mind having an all matte palette because it might help me to use some of my creams or my stick eyeshadows or my liquid eyeshadows so yeah quite happy with that I'm going to be keeping all of them so it was a pretty good um, try out um, just two items that I didn't use but for very good reasons and then um, I managed to find one item that actually wasn't in the project but that I used as a complement to my nail polish that I'm going to declutter. So um, let's choose our next items. So I have all of my lipsticks and lip products in here. Um, I'm going to try not to pick out a sample again. There are a couple samples left in here. Um, but I'm going to try not to pick those because I don't want to be opening them at the moment. If I do pick one accidentally, I will drop it and pick something else. So let's go. Uh, let's go for this one. This one. And this one. Oh, we have some... <laughs> Oh, we're going to have some fun months. Okay, so the first one I picked out is an I Heart Revolution lipstick. This is from their Mermaid collection. Um, and this is in Aqua Dizziac. This, this, oh, this one. It looks like this. So it has mermaid scales into it. Um... But when you actually go to swatch it, it's actually a pink glittery kind of look. So, hmm, I think I've kept this one mainly because it's mermaids. So I will try and have a play with it. Um, but yeah, not sure about that one. I think the next one I picked out was this one. I can't remember. But let's show this one. This is a L'Oreal Paris um, Colorish lipstick in Pink Fever. And it was from their Beauty and the Beast collection. Um, so this one is a bright pink. Which is why I'm... I'm, I'm this could go well with that glittery pink one though because look at those bright pink now I will say I'm not a pinky person <laughs> I'm much more of a deep pink or a rusty rose kind of color but this is this is this is Barbie pink and I think the only reason why I got this one is because of the pretty packaging <laughs> 
Um, this is going to be fun. And then the last one was a Sleek Matte Me uh, Lip Cream in the shade. Ooh, bittersweet. Okay. So this is more my colour. This, this is more my shade. Now I know a lot of people don't like these. I know my daughter doesn't like these because they're too drying for her. I have had an issue with dry lips recently. So I might wait a while before I try this one. But I do like this form formula in general. I do like this formula in general. Um, I don't mind it drying my lips a little because I always apply a, um, a lip balm beforehand anyway um, and I can always top it with say this um, afterwards just to give it a bit more I don't know moisture I don't know uh, so yes there's that one so those are all the lipsticks picked now let's go to my phone and go to the Whirligig device. So we have the Whirligig device here. And what colour should I paint my nails? So I have my thing here. Now I have taken out the white or the cream off the wheel because I, I'm not playing with them. So I have them to use when I use my toppers. Um, but I don't really want to be playing with them. So yeah, I have done that. So let's have a go and see what we're going to play with. Okay, so the first one is a red. So the second one. Is a purple. Ooh. Third roll. And another red. I'm actually going to spin again because I want three different colours. So let's try again. A black. Okay, so we've got red, purple and black. Let me go and pick those out and then we can uh, show you what I pick. Okay, so I have picked my colours. So the red I'm going to pick is this one. This is a Revolution uh, nail polish in the colour Sizzle. And it looks like that. Um, this one is one of their neons. So it might come out a little pinkish because a red neon is quite difficult to uh, achieve, I believe. So uh, yeah, this might be come out a bit more pink than red. But we're going to give it a try. I've never tried this at all. I think I've swatched it. But I've never tried this on my nails. So I'm looking forward to that. The purple. I went with this Essie nail polish. Do with a bit of a shake. <laughs> um, and this is in the shade Girly Grunge. So it's a bit of a more uh, lilac colour. Like a lavender colour. Um, and... It's definitely a shiny, shimmery one. So uh, looking forward to playing with that one. I don't think I've had this on my nails either, if I'm right. I can't remember ever wearing this. So it looks pretty full. So yeah, that's that one. And then for the black, um, I might take the black off my wheel as well. Because when I was looking through my collection, I couldn't really find any blacks like I don't have I don't actually have that many blacks in my collection so I went for the nearest thing I could get which was a really really dark grey so this is a china glaze in the shade uh, hot and heavy so it looks like this so it's like a gunmetal grey um, so it's as close to black as I'm going to get. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to remove the black from the wheel um, and then just have the colours rather than uh, the blacks and the whites kind of thing. So yeah, I'm going to play with that one. 
Now, in regards to my palettes, I want to really, really concentrate on some of my smaller palettes for the next two months because if I am going to be moving, um, the smaller palettes, I can just throw in like a little makeup bag and take with me um, rather than having to, because I'll probably be packing all my larger palettes away. So, on saying that, I'm going to start off with one of my eggs. Um, I believe that I've used the brown one before and I really, really enjoyed that. And I thought they were really small and compact. You've got five added eyeshadows at the top here. You take off the plastic so you can see. So you've got five eyeshadows at the top and then two highlighters there. Now I can use these two highlighters as highlighters, but I don't count them as highlighters in my makeup inventory because um, I will generally tend to use these more as an eyeshadow rather than highlighters. So um, this shade here, this shade, this shade is one of my favourite shades ever when it comes to purples and it's not swatching very well come on I know you can do better than that so that is one of my favorite shades of purple ever so I'm quite looking forward to that plus I thought as well if I'm going to be wearing pink lipstick um, for this project I might as well have a purple eyeshadow look to go with it uh, so yes I put that in the next eyeshadow palette I've chosen is another Makeup Revolution one or an I Heart Revolution one and this is their Blueberry Crush so it's one of their donut palettes it's kind of squishy which I like and it looks like this inside so it's all nice and blues um, again I just thought I wanted to play with these colours um, this colour here looks really pretty let's have a swatch Ooh, look at that <laughs> that is stunning yes happy to play with this for the next two months oh that is beautiful and then the last palette that i'm going to play with is another of my sleek palettes now this is not a well-known one this is the stonework eyeshadow palette and it's one of their long slim ones this one looks like this so in this palette you have this shade and this shade are cream eyeshadows and they can they can be used as bases for you to then apply the powder ones over the top and depending on whether you choose the pink base or the blue base depends on what sort of um, look you get from the eyeshadows that you pack on the top. So this one is a quite a versatile palette despite only being what six shades. So yeah I quite like this palette. I think this is one of those that I might have to pan in the future. Um, because uh, those cream eyeshadows are not going to last forever and being alongside the powdery products their integrity might not hold up um, as well um, because of contamination from the powder um, but yeah so I might look to use this as a project pan in the future but um, yeah I'm going to have a play with it over the next uh, two or three months two months sorry it's not two three um so yeah i'm gonna play with and that one so those are all my products for my three of a kind project so i've got my stonework palette by sleek my i heart revolution um i think this is the unicorn egg i can't remember it's the purple one and then the blueberry crush donut palette from i heart revolution and the nail polishes I'm playing with is Girly Grunge from Essie, Hot and Heavy by China Glaze and Sizzle by Revolution. And then the lipsticks that I'm playing with is Sleek's Matte Me in Bittersweet and L'Oreal's Colorish in, what was it, Pink Fever. 
and then I Heart Revolution in Aquadisiac. So those are all the items that I'm going to play with over the next two months. Uh, so if you would like to see me update you on my use on these in the following months, then please do like, comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye!